start recording. <clears throat> what's good? What's good? What's good? It's Vasha Lombardi. Uh, we're just going to get started here. This isn't going to be a very heavily edited video because this is offensive line. That's kind of what I do. Uh, so I can just get my talking points and just, you know, run down the film whenever I get there. Uh, before we get to, you know, my first few talking points or whatever, we're looking at uh, Josh Ball, formerly of Marshall. He's a cowboy now, left tackle. Probably going to be like future swing dude. Um, you know he he's 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 had his off the field issues right, and his off the field stuff is probably probably one of the reasons why he fell in the draft. Uh, the Cowboys had a third round grade on him, a high third round grade on him. Don't ask me how I know that. I just know these things. Um, but uh, he 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 fell in the draft probably because of the off the field stuff. It's just a handful of other things maybe. Um, if you want to you know do your own research, you know what I'm saying. Do your own research, man. Jay Z say, type it in. Google's your friend, bro. Um, but you know, let, let's let's hope that he's not doing those things anymore, and we're strictly looking at uh, Josh Ball, the football player. All right, that's the only thing that we're looking at, um, because you know the the people ask me. You know, what I'm saying they 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 you know y'all y'all wanted some information about Josh Ball, so. The streets love G's and I love him back. So we're gonna talk a little bit about Josh Ball today, and um. You know, I love to watch offensive line in, in general. And, and you know, there's some people that think offensive line is boring. Now, if you watch my show, you watch my show, you learn to love some offensive line because I can make you love it. But <clears throat> Josh Ball, he's going to be the left tackle for the duration of the video. He's number 79. Hard to miss him. So what I noticed off the rip, off the rip about Josh Ball is that he's very like the, the handful of things that he's really, really good at. He's really, really, really good at. Um, and the other things that he, you know, can work on or whatever, or just needs needs to, uh, to, to have work done to him, you know, are things that, that can be fixed. So I'm going to give him some really glowing reviews on some of his skill set. But I know how y'all do in the chat box. I'm going to be saying something great about him. Like, for example, I'm about to mention Tyron Smith in his next play. And y'all going to go, but, but, but. But Vonch, if he's so much like Tyron Smith, why did he fall to the fourth round? Well, um, he's not all the way like Tyron Smith. For example, let me just go ahead and show you the play. We're going to watch this play, uh, 79 left tackle Josh Ball, and then we're going to rewind it. I'm, I'm going to tell you what's very Tyron Smithy about this play. Now, um, first of all, if we're just going to focus on his bottom half, great feet, great movement, not labored, up and down, post foot is great. Angle is great, and I like for my players to deliver a blow. Right? I want you to strike your opponent. Um, you know, there was this 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 fight with I Am Legend monsters I was I was dealing with. Clearly, people that just didn't understand um, line play that well. But just because you're going backwards, don't mean that you can't strike. You need to deliver a blow at some point to help kind of mitigate their rush. Uh, to to you know to even out the whole the whole deal with your block. So what Josh is gonna do. And boy, Tyron Smith is really good at this. And this isn't even like a powerful strike, but it's all about where, you know, where you hit the player, right? So some players opt for the two hand strike in the middle. Joe Thomas was a guy that'll grab the bicep, get your under arm. Tyron Smith, what he would do is he'll find the like, like the the farthest out of your limb so that could be your shoulder it could be your underarm in this particular situation it's the underarm and we'll strike there because it'll throw you off balance now we're not just gonna one hand you just just you know just for the you know just because it looks cute we're doing this to get you off balance so that we can establish the second level of the block i know i said tyron smith's name a few times what separates tyron from josh ball well josh ball will punch you just to establish the next level of the block Tyron Smith will punch you and grab you with one hand, but his grip strength and his overall upper body power is so different that he can grab you with that one hand and like control you for the whole block. So this is very similar to Tyron Smith. I just don't want people in the chat box to hear me say that and they think, oh boy, we got another Tyron Smith. Nah, Tyron Smith's a little better, you know, with his with his run blocking, with his power, which is, you know, with his reach blocking, upper and lower body strength. Um you know what I mean? Tyron's built like a like a like a cyborg, man. He's an offensive lineman. He's not fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's he's built like an action figure. You know what I mean? Uh, he's he's damn near perfect. Besides the injury thing, Josh Ball takes cues from Tyron Smith's game. So um, that's like me saying, oh well, well, Amari Cooper runs routes like Jerry Rice. He probably probably run him a little better. You know what I'm saying? But there's other things that made Jerry Rice Jerry Rice. But 
I don't know. I'm probably gonna be fighting people in the comments for that, but who cares? Whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> but um, Josh Ball. So his his role coming into this team, man, he's probably uh, going to be competing for like swing dude, or he's gonna be like backup swing dude behind Ty and Seki. So what he's gonna do, Josh Ball here, is he's coming in and he's gonna be like, I right, Brandon Knight. <laughs> just so you know just so we don't have to pay you another year or i terrence still i'm directly competing with you um that's what uh what 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 you know that's josh ball's like camp competition is going to look like he needs to be better than those guys take a look at this reach block ladies and gentlemen now this reach block isn't necessarily impressive let's just watch here 79 left tackle this reach block isn't necessarily impressive uh from the athletic standpoint right i actually hate his first step <laughs> you know what i mean i actually uh hate that he didn't really get a good angle on that reach block there but what makes this block so impressive is the end of it like how he finishes this block and we just talked about it on the last play right we talk about hand placement so I want y'all to take a look at Josh Ball's right hand, right? The right hand is is what separates him in the way that, um, okay, everybody else may, you know, da 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 do do do. I'm gonna put my right hand here, but I'm gonna lock it in and lift on the D lineman there, and that does a couple things, right? For one, it establishes Josh Ball's. Um, Position. This is definitely sponsored by Manscaped Cat. <laughs> we, we talking about Josh Ball today. Um, so, so this one hundred percent established Josh Ball's. Um, you know where he is in the block but if you take a look at at his at his right hand he's lifting the d line up and that's next level nuance right there so shots out to him what does lifting the d lineman do well fam this is a leverage game so if you're lower than me you're more powerful than me so what i'm going to do is when i do my reach block i'm going to get some lower leverage down i'm going to get my hand in place under the armpit like we talked about i'm gonna lift you up make you straight legged now i'm more powerful than you because you're not in a powerful position your knees aren't bent you're standing straight up your base is trash and I, i'm basically picking you up right now josh ball isn't a very powerful player but if you put your hands in the right place just another example, right? Josh is going to travel really, really well. Punch is easy for him. Um, he gets a little leany sometimes, right? And that happens when you get players that aren't naturally powerful. You don't really catch Tyron Smith leaning on folks too much because he's a strong ass dude. Tyron ain't got to lean on nobody. But you can just kind of kind of take a look at him right here on this play, the left tackle. here. You just see him kind of lean a little bit. Nothing happened there because 13 may not be that great. What happened here? Did he fall? Josh kind of pushed him over. That's cool. Okay. I like a little nastiness. I'll take that. Um, um, so so he leaned on this play and it was fine. It was fine. But sometimes you can lean on other plays and it'll it'll kind of get you killed a little bit. You know what I mean? I actually got a timestamp written down as I can uh, I can jump to it right now. Boom, boom, boom. What's that? 22, 22. Let's see. I wrote down he's a little leany here. So let's see what happened here. Let's see what happened here. This might be the play. Yeah, that's what happens, right? So you're the left tackle, 79, Josh Ball. When you lean, um, first of all, it's, it, it leaning is like a last resort type of thing, right? Like once you get beat, then you start leaning on people to try to get them up out of here. You shouldn't start the playoff leaning because you're off balance. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to find a good D lineman. Not like this cat, but you're going to find some good D lineman that's just going to take some cloth and pull you down. And you're not going to be very balanced. You're going to fall forward because you're leaning you see what i'm saying uh, like i said man josh is cool man josh is cool josh got some got some got some solid little stuff about him got some got some solid little traits you know what i mean like i say he, he just need to be a little little more powerful or whatever but when you get to national football league they give you that magical peanut butter they give you a steak of potatoes next thing you know in the off season or so you're just a little bigger than you were last year so bigger and stronger yeah, it, it happened to connor williams even though y'all still hating on connor williams <laughs> Even though y'all still hating on kind of weaves, it is what it is. This was this is some um some film versus uh La Tech or whatever. So Milton Williams is on the other side here. Milton Williams is a player that the that the Cowboys were were um looking at, but we didn't really get good reps for Milton Williams versus Josh Ball, so we didn't even, you know, I didn't even include it. What happens here? <clears throat> so this is a good and bad play, right? This is a good and bad play and the the D lineman could have made a play, but he just <laughs> got in his own head a little bit. So Josh Ball, what I really liked here is that he understood. So we're not going against like a, 
Uh, first of all, can I ask my chat box a question, bro? Like, when did three, four defensive ends turn into five techs? In my mind, five techs were always even front dudes that were like outside, but like they'll call this three, four defensive end, they'll call him a five tech. These dudes were always like fours or four eyes to me. So even like even when I was playing, we'll call this dude a four. They call him fives now. I don't, I don't know. Um, so we're looking at Josh Ball, right? Left tackle. What what I really like about this play is he had enough awareness to quick set right to we're not going to kick backwards and, and and gain ground we're going to step in or just kind of pick our feet up put them back down just to get you know more of a power rush right because we're we don't want to read and react like 93 might be might be a powerful little dude or whatever so we want to get hands on him quicker than you know one of those like you know quicker edge edge guys that we went up against earlier or whatnot so what josh ball would do is pick up his right foot and just kind of close the inside a little bit and i like that and it kind of worked out it, it it actually forced 93 to give a rush to the outside which would be an advantage uh to to josh ball because he's the left tackle we always want guys rushing outside we we, we want guys to badly stay away from inside but what happened is josh probably not trusting his power here got a little over committal right and he gave up his inside right and 93 probably should have had a sack but i just i don't know what the hell he, i don't know what i don't know what 93 doing he just mm, he just didn't want to make the play he said i'm gonna whoop you josh ball and not sack the quarterback i, I don't know but um yeah man josh josh can just get over over committal sometimes right we just want to we just want to fix that but Connor Williams had that same problem, right? And why do those two guys have that same problem? Because they may not trust their strength. These naturally strong dudes that ain't got to lean on people, they, they don't have an over-committal problem. They're not trying to punch the shit out of people because they don't have to because they're strong as hell. Let's take a look at Josh Ball here. Kind of caught um, uh, kind of caught the player, standing up tall, kind of leaned a little bit, <laughs> ended up on the ground. Josh does end up on the ground a little bit, uh, just, a, just a bit much for my taste. Uh, like I said, man, the player's not perfect, but the the things that he's really good at, he's really, really good at. The things that that, that he's bad at, he kind of sucks a little bit. So, um, just want to put that out in the uh, out in the atmosphere for y'all, man. Just so y'all can know what the hell going on. Uh, take a look at your left tackle here, Josh Ball. Let's see what he does. Leaning a little bit, they took advantage of him. <laughs> they took advantage of that, man. So when he gets to the Cowboys or whatever, when he gets to these camps or whatever. Your player don't lean. Even even that that first that first report that came out like, well, Michael Parsons beat Josh Ball in rookie camp. First, I was like, so. <laughs> I was like, who cares that Josh Ball got beat by Michael Parsons in rookie camp? But the second thing I said was he's probably leaning. You know what I'm saying? It's probably probably leaning a little bit. What else I got? I got one more on on here, and then we're gonna talk about the player for a little bit. I says in space. Let's see what happens here. Pretty good playing space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Running the screen here. Gets gets out in the open. Puts his hands on one of these DBs there. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Um. Anyway, man. Yeah, Josh Ball, man. I ain't want to hold y'all too long. I actually let this rock a little bit. Uh, I ain't want to hold y'all too long. Man. I just wanted to get some information out about Josh Ball, but I didn't want to talk about him all day. Um. I just had a handful of plays written down. Just kind of run the film. But yeah, like... You know, he has the um, he has the potential to be a solid swing dude in the league. I think he's good enough to be a, a solid swing guy now. Why you say that, Vach? Not, not because he's just like great or whatever, but just it's hard to find starters in the league. You know what I'm saying? Let alone backup guys. So um, I'm grading him on a on a curve like he may not be great, but you know, Ty and Seki ain't really great neither. But both of them are good in context of backup swing dudes or whatever. So. That's just something we're going to have to uh, cross whenever we get there. Do I see Josh Ball getting involved this year? Absolutely not. Like I said, we got guys like Brandon Knight who might not be on the team. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, Ty and Seki, they like Terrence Steele because he got naked pictures of somebody. So Terrence Steele is probably going to be on the team too. So, you know, we're, we're going to have to see how Josh Ball's role balls. Shout out to Manscaped. We're gonna see how 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 Josh Ball's role uh kind of you know kind of evolves whenever like training camp gets here or whatever. So we'll just see. We'll see what happens, man. But uh that's all I got for y'all today, man. I'm actually on vacation, man. I have a uh um I have a family member graduating, one of my little ones graduating or whatever. So I'm in Natchez, you know. So I did this video a couple of days ago, but I just couldn't leave y'all in the street, man. I know I just came back from vacation, but when I go home, I don't vacation. I 
I rip and run and go see people. But anyway, I appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all hold down for the Doski Wilson Peace Can Weeski, man. Appreciate Manscaped for holding me down. Promo code VATCH, 20% off everything. Y'all hold it down, man. Peace. Yeah.